Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'd like to do a quick overview of how to turn a photograph like this into a sketch like this using Photoshop. First thing that we'll do is we'll open up our photo up in Photoshop. Uh, for the landscape portion of this, I decided to uh, sketch a photograph that I had taken in New Hampshire. Uh, the first thing that I'll do is I'll duplicate the background layer and I'll name this layer BW for black and white. I'll convert this layer into a smart object. The next thing I'll do is I will add some hue and saturation to this photo. And then what I'll do is I'll change the saturation all the way down to ne negative 100. This will adjust anything below it to be black and white. Then what I'll do is I will select the black and white layer, go up to image, adjustments, and invert. That will make the picture sort of like a negative of uh, the old time film. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll change the blend mode of this to color dodge. And you'll see that it sort of hides most of the, the image, uh, the way that it blends. And then what we'll do is, uh, the next thing I do to bring it out is we'll call a filter, blur. We'll add the filter blur, and we'll add the Gaussian blur. Here you can adjust the radius um, for your pixels for the blur. To adjust it to have like the, the thickness of the depth of the uh, lines that you would like. For this photo, I like 16.2, so I'll click OK. Then what I'll do is I will add another adjustment layer. I'll add some levels to this. And then what I will do is I will change the blend mode for these levels to multiply. What this is doing is it's actually darkened up. You can see it darkened up the lines a little bit because the multiply blend mode, uh, any area that's dark will become darker and anything that's white will sort of disappear in the photo. Here you could adjust the opacity of that layer. Uh, to have the darkness that you like. I usually like it around 50 or 60%, uh, which is fine for me. At this point, you could actually have a black and white sketch of your photo. Uh, if you'd like to make it a color sketch of the photo, we'll duplicate the background layer again. I'll name this layer color. And at this point, what I'll do is I will drag the color layer above all of the other levels. And then what I will do is I'll change the blend mode of the color layer to um, color. And you can see we sort of have a sketch look, feel, look and feel already. Uh, the blend mode um, for color, it preserves the luminosity of the base layer and it adapts the hue and saturation of the blending layer. This also you could change the opacity of this layer to have the level that you like. And you can see how it change, it will darken or lighten it. Uh, not only does this work with landscape photos, but it works with uh, portraits as well, which is really nice. So I have another image that I opened up, and this one I took a, a photograph of a pop figure a while ago. What I'll do is I will, again, same as last time, duplicate the layer. We'll call this BW for black and white. What we'll do is I'll convert this to a smart object. Then what I'll do is I'll go up to the adjustments. I'll add a hue and saturation, change the saturation to negative 100 to have sort of a black and white layer. Then what I'll do is I'll select my black and white. I'll go up to image, adjustments, invert. Then I will change the blend mode again to color dodge. And then I, what I will do is I will change the filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Again, you can change the radial pixels for what you like. I typically like 16.2. Uh, depending upon the photograph, it will change um, to, to how you feel if it looks. we we'll hit OK. And at this point, what we'll do is I'll do another adjustment layer, add the levels. And I'll change the uh, blend mode of this to multiply, to darken it. I'll drop the opacity of this down to, like I said, 50 or 60 or percent is what I typically like. Um, and it will lighten up the image. 
And now you have a black and white sketch of your uh, portrait. We'll duplicate the layer, we'll call this the color layer. We'll drag the color layer all the way to the top. And then what we'll do is we'll change the blend mode to color. And you can see we have a sketch, uh, a color sketch of our portrait. You can change again the opacity down to the level that you like. Uh, and so the color look the way you like it. And there you have it. Uh, this is a quick overview. Hopefully, um, you pause this, watch it. You can see exactly what was being done uh, of how to change a photo into a sketch using Photoshop. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And also, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to click on the notify bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you for watching.